your maintenance man. Oh, yeah. I'm your maintenance man. All right. AC's not running. Victor's over here with me. And uh, first thing I want to look at is the wire nets under the <laughs> dirt. That's nice. <laughs> That's very nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, that could be the problem, but what is that? Actually, it might not be the problem, but we don't know yet. But I'm sure he's got a blown fuse in there or something. God, I would have like tie strapped that at least. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would have strapped that over here, hold it up out of the weather, and then wrap that in duct tape or something. What the hell, dude? Whatever. So we'll dive deeper into this situation, won't we? Alright, besides uh, the uh, crap being in the dirt, that's probably not our problem. I forgot to bring my lock straps. God darn it. I was going to do that. Maybe the air conditioning guy is actually here right now. But since this is pulled in, I don't think this is going to be our problem. What I think our problem is, this is a non-OEM motor for a Goodman unit, and it is way under horsepower, seems like. It's a, it doesn't match these bolt holes, which it should. And I'm looking through, and I can barely see, maybe I'll see, but this is a tiny little motor, man, tiny. I'm trying to find the horsepower here. Hold on. I, I want to make sure I get the right horsepower for you. One six horsepower, man. No way. No way, dude. That 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 motor right there belongs in a P-Tac. Man, not on this shit. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the motor's burned out. So let's fire it up, see what happens. Bet the compressor comes on. I haven't done this since you saw me last pull the wires out and then I pulled this out and said let, let's let it cool off because it, it had a good decent amount of heat coming out of it. It was in thermal overload probably. Hopefully we're right. Let's give it a shot. That's what we're going to diagnose. Hey! What? No! Damn. You savage, you. So yeah. So yeah. That, I had I had the other tech here that was in the other video. He's make sure I'm not radioing this. He's uh, kind of new, but you know he wants to learn too. So he he kind of shadows behind me, and I was okay. What do you think's wrong? And I already knew that you know I was like, well, we can we can go get a capacitor or and this maybe bad contactor you know nothing's getting power could be a defrost board maybe the, maybe the fans not coming on because the defrost board is bad you know there's still other reasons that this is bad but i'm telling you right now this is underrated oh this is not an oem motor for this unit there's no damn way i've seen these it's a ge motor um Thermally protected. Well, that's not going to help me much. But when we were here, neither the compressor or the fan was coming on. So let's prove the theory that we can try another capacitor. I got a 30, 35, 5, but it's not the exact same capacitor. So. Let's just try that. Oh, snap. Alright, what do we got? Three terminals. Wait. Four terminals. 
Shut the hell up, man. South 318 over South 318. Really? Good lord, man. Come on. Gosh, mighty. Stupid. Man. But that, that motor is not the right horsey. I'll be damned. Well, that thing's gonna get hot. And I gotta come back with pipe strap, put that back in there and take the old one out. So, all right, well there's, there was a cappy. But that thing gets hot, man. That is not supposed to get that hot. You cook an egg on that thing, but maybe it was getting hot because the capacitor is going out. That's why you check everything, you know. I was I was leaning towards a bad fan motor there for a second, so. Yeah. Whew. All right. She's chilling, and I was leaning really towards this shit being in the dirt. What the hell is up with that, guys? I mean, you seriously came out here and just. Wired. I mean, who did that? Idiots. But, whatever. Goodman unit keeps on trucking. Keep on tripping. Alright. No point in all that. We'll just get this capacitor out of here and we might be able to get that other one. Oh, shit. Put that other one in here. Look at that. From that tiny little one. This big ass unit. Yeah, without touching the Ah shit. Uh, I knew that wasn't gonna work. I mean there's no way that's gonna work. <laughs> Bad a longer screw it would. Bad a longer screw. I don't like the droppy capacitors because I'll be the one that has to work on it next. There we go. It's in there hotter than a butt all right so that's that's it that's why I brought a capacitor with me that's why I double checked before you uh, do that so that capacitor on the fan side so yeah it was one of the two things. It was a capacitor or a bad fan motor at this point. Because I could feel the heat coming out of this uh, from the compressor. The compressor wasn't running and the fan wasn't running when I got here. I pulled this out of the dirt. So we're just recapping here. So once I pulled that out of the dirt, I was like, well, uh, let me open the case and see if it's pulled, if the contact is pulled in. And this, this woman, dude. Um, so, the contactor was pulled in, I said, well, that's going to pretty much tell me if it's a bad capacitor or a bad, could have been a bad contactor, and then nothing got power, so I went and got my meter, and uh, that's how I diagnosed this one this time, alright, so, probably did some unnecessary stupid steps, but, in the long run you get it all taken care of and that's how you do it tighten this one down tighten this one down and i'm gonna tighten down the other two you guys have a great day it's jeff the maintenance man i'm gonna tell you all right now 
I need to be safe and happy troubleshooting. Y'all have a good one. Be safe.